packs of wild dogs are threatening the residents and livestock. And today, something was done about it. Channel 2's Inland Empire correspondent, Bob Donnelly, with that story. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. The streets, empty, quiet, except for the sights and sounds of stray dogs. The dogs roam the neighborhood, usually in large packs, threatening livestock and people alike. So this morning, the San Bernardino County Animal Control Office sent more than a dozen agents into the field to try and pick up the stray dogs. Hi, good morning. Uh, we're with the San Bernardino County Animal Control and we're checking the dog line. The officers went door to door, waking up residents, checking for their dog's vaccination papers and licenses. Those who could not produce the paperwork were given citations. So they expired in June of 81. I got the new ones around here because I got the paperwork. Okay. Somewhere's around here. Okay, wait. Well, because I was just talking the other day that I'm going to have to. I have to leave a citation. Okay. If you can find the paperwork or the tags, you can take them down to. Uh, the courthouse in Fontana, and that'll prepare the site. But right now, I have those right now. All right. Today's roundup is the result of a recent series of dog attacks in the Colton and Bloomington area. The most severe case, a postman in Colton was bitten by a pit bulldog. He died three days later as a result of blood poisoning. The stray dogs have also bitten many small children and killed many domestic animals and livestock. That's all I see, just dogs out here. They can see them being... Uh bringing uh, cheap skins down from the hill, or goat skins, you know, from some other places. Found them in my yard or in the next door's yard. Armed with tranquilizer guns and shotguns, officers roamed the hills looking for strays. They snared three, all alive, the dogs taking the local animal shelters. It's hoped that if nothing else, the news of this early morning raid will convince residents to vaccinate their dogs and to leave them pinned up inside their yard. Bob Donnelly, Channel 2 News, Bloomington. Well, San Bernardino County Animal Control Officers say they're going to be making more of those early morning raids, and they're going to continue doing it until the residents start taking better care and licensing their animals. And Jeff Marlowe.